Welcome to Children's Liturgy. We've now reached Pentecost. And you might notice a small change to our prayer table. It now has a red cloth. That's because red is the colour of the Holy Spirit. In church you would see red cloth too, like on the lectern, and the priest would wear red too. That's because today is a very special day. Last week we heard how Jesus left his disciples and returned to heaven. This week we hear about what the disciples did next. They were still a bit worried, confused, and not sure what to do. But on the Feast of Pentecost, something amazing happened. So we've lit our candles to remind us that Jesus is with us and we'll make the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The disciples gathered together in Jerusalem to celebrate the Feast of Pentecost. As they were praying together, the room was suddenly filled with the sound of a powerful wind which roared through the house. Then what looked like small tongues of fire appeared and spread out to touch each one of them. And so it was they were filled with the Holy Spirit. At once, in their excitement, they rushed outside to tell everyone what had happened to them. As they began to speak, they were amazed to find that they could talk in other languages that they'd never spoken before. People from lands far and wide gathered in a crowd to listen to these men from Galilee. They were amazed and came to believe in Jesus. So it was from that day onwards, the disciples went around telling everybody about Jesus and sharing all that he had taught them. They were no longer afraid for wherever they went, Jesus went with them. Now his spirit lived inside them and they would never feel alone again. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. At the start of our reading today, the disciples were gathered together to celebrate Pentecost, which is celebrated 50 days after Passover. Now you might remember that Jesus and his disciples had gathered together at Passover and that was when they had their last supper together. At Pentecost, some things were the same. The disciples were gathered together, they ate and prayed together, but there are a lot of differences too. The biggest being that Jesus wasn't there anymore and that the disciples were sad and lost and confused. I imagine it was a lot more quiet and solemn than the last supper. But then everything changed. What happened? Just like Jesus promised, the Holy Spirit came. There was a great wind and small flames appeared above their heads. They were filled with the Holy Spirit and suddenly they weren't afraid and confused anymore. They were excited and full of faith and understanding. Imagine you were one of their disciples in the room on that Pentecost day. What do you think you would do and say? I wish Jesus was here. Me too. What's the matter, Peter? I just really miss Jesus. John, I know you've given me all these tasks, but I just really miss them. I'm sad too, but we need to get to work and start doing all the tasks now, don't we? Jesus. Me too. And me. And me. Oh, 
It would be great if we could see the Holy Spirit with us like this. Although it might be tricky to wear a hat. But the Holy Spirit is always with us, helping us and guiding us to make the right choices. The Holy Spirit gives us many wonderful gifts. Wisdom, understanding, peace, courage, patience, love and kindness. We just need to remember to use them. When the disciples were filled with the Holy Spirit, they suddenly had the courage and understanding to go out and do what Jesus asked them to do, to spread the word of God and all the messages he had taught them. But the most amazing thing was that the Holy Spirit helped them even more because when they got outside, they could speak in other languages. There were lots of people visiting Jerusalem from many different countries, but every one of them could understand what the disciples said. They were so amazed by what they heard that 3,000 people became Christians that day. Sometimes people say that Pentecost is the church's birthday. Why do you think this is? I think that people call Pentecost the church's birthday because it is the time when the disciples spread all the good news about Jesus and the church began. Jesus ascended up to heaven and sat on the right hand of God. And the disciples went out to teach people the good news. And on that day, they reached up to 3,000 people believing in Jesus. So that was why the church was born. Our first activity this week is a fiery Holy Spirit headband. This activity would probably be most suitable for younger children. Begin by cutting up a piece of card into strips around three centimetres wide. This can be coloured or just plain white card. Then glue them together to make one long band, big enough to fit around their head. Next, draw around their hand on card or paper and cut it out. Doing this a few times on different colours looks really effective, but just one on white paper works too. Then use red, orange and yellow crayons to add fiery lines and patterns. Finally, stick these handprint flames onto the headband. In our second activity, we will be making a lantern or prayer jar. This will probably be most suitable for older children. You'll need a glass jar, glue, and different red, orange and yellow paper. Begin by covering part of the jar in glue. PVA glue works best. Then stick on red, orange and yellow paper, perhaps to make a fiery pattern. Tissue paper, crepe paper or cellophane looks really effective, but you can use whatever paper you have available. Wrapping paper, pictures cut from magazines, even crisp packets or sweet wrappers. Keep gluing and sticking on paper until the whole jar is finished. When it's dry, you can make it into a prayer jar. You can either write down any prayers, thoughts, worries, things that you're grateful for, anything you want to talk to God about and put it inside the jar. Or you can put encouraging words, phrases and prayers inside and take them out when you need them. Alternatively, you can make a lantern. Remember, if you use a real candle, fire can be dangerous. And if you use a battery candle, they have button batteries, which can be dangerous too. So only do this with an adult. Thank you for joining us for Children's Liturgy today to celebrate Pentecost, the church's birthday. <laughs>